going on guys welcome back to the just talk smith channel in today's video we are going to be doing part two on the f-250 build that we started yesterday uh well i guess we actually started this truck a couple of months ago uh installed the six inch pmf fabricated four link long arm kit uh and we set the truck at six inches of lift in the front it was supposed to only be four and a half um with the components that we done but we went ahead and set it at six the geometry was a little bit tweaked but the truck honestly drove and rode better than stock um so now we are actually going back in and doing the uh, two components that we should have done when we set it at six we had originally ordered it and was only going to do four and a half and then uh daniel changed his mind so we went to six um with that leveling kit so pretty much the geometry on the suspension was only as bad as putting a one and a half inch leveling kit on the truck normally um so what we're doing now is the stuff in yesterday's video uh that i painted uh, we're gonna be clear coating it today so you'll get to see all of that stuff clear coated so that'll be pretty cool it should all spray out really really good so yeah he is uh we're going right now to pick up a little bit of paint on the bottom of that bumper cover um there's a little bitty spot uh probably like eight or nine inches long yeah just pull right out in front of me okay anyway so there is a little bitty spot uh, probably about eight inches long and it's like on the bottom so like whenever you're spraying like you got to get on the bottom and i did but the way that it's laid out in my paint booth like the block there's like a it's laying on like a piece of wood um that's covered in paper and it caused me to not be able to get base coat in that area so like i had to move my gun a little bit extra in the area and i just didn't so just you probably i don't think that you would even be able to see it once it's all back together um but we just want to do things right and get full coverage of base before we clear everything and then the same with the clear you want to get clear all all of the edges are the most important because it'll start chipping or uh you know start fading or whatever from the edges and then fade in it'll give the clear coat and everything a starting point to start deteriorating pretty much so we're going out now to pick up some base coat then we'll go back get the base coat sprayed probably won't film any of that and then uh, i may set the camera up and film a little bit of spraying the clear coat and then i'll show that to you all whenever we get that finished but that's pretty much the uh you know i just now got so sidetracked the two components on Daniel's truck that we have to upgrade or fix is the pitman arm. We're doing a drop down pitman arm to correct the drag link angle. And then we're doing a drop down track bar bracket. Um, so the track bar bracket, it's the big fabricated uh, bracket from PMF. We're gonna be installing that. That's a powder coat. We'll be going and picking that up as well in this video. So this is gonna be maybe a little long video. So stay tuned. Don't forget guys, if you haven't already, get on there and click that subscribe button. Uh, so we're gonna go pick up this base coat and then I'll go back, spray the clear, uh, or we'll spray the base coat, then spray the clear. And then by that time, should be later in the day, and uh, we'll head to single shot powder coating in Science Hill, Kentucky and pick up the, uh, the pieces from powder coat. Third component I just now thought of, sway board drop brackets. I don't know why you have to run the sway board drop brackets. Um, I've seen people run it without the sway board drop brackets, but that's what PMF recommends. So that's what we're doing. Um, so yeah, so sway board drop brackets, then we already have the extended links, which is kind of why I don't understand why you have to run those, but something about it like hits or something, I don't know. I've seen I've seen people run it without it and it's not hitting anything, but you know, better safe than sorry. So anyway, sway bar drop brackets, track bar bracket, drop down pitman arm. That's what we have to upgrade on the front before we start on the rear. So stay tuned to the video guys. I will see you after I spray the base coat and probably I'll see you while I'm spraying the clear coat.
Okay guys, so we just now, as you've seen, got all of that stuff clear coated. It turned out absolutely amazing. I got one little run in the bumper cover that I'm gonna wet sand out and buff tomorrow. No big deal. Um, Daniel's about to get off work and then we're gonna run to single shot powder coating and pick up the sway bar brackets, the track bar bracket, and uh, I think that's it. Yeah, so the big uh, track bar bracket and the sway bar brackets like I was talking about at the beginning of this video. So as soon as Daniel gets off work, I guess we'll probably go grab something to eat and then we'll head that way. And then uh, I guess I'll probably just uh, show installing that track bar bracket and uh, maybe like the drop down pitman arm and that uh, the sway bar brackets in this video, I think probably. I don't know, I may make uh, another part three video. Like I said, I'm just gonna do, uh, I don't know how many parts it'll be just each day just doing some vlog style videos to get y'all some truck content kind of show you all the process of what it takes to build cool trucks like this um but anyway as soon as daniel gets here and we can go to science hill kentucky and pick up all of the stuff from powder coat then we will get the front back together then we'll tear the rear apart take it to uh, the powder coat place as well it's a lot of running around a lot of time very very time consuming it costs a lot of money guys um to get all this stuff powder coated but in the end it's worth it um yeah so as soon as daniel gets here i will check back in with you guys that's what brayden has got ready to go pick up your powder coat daniel mm -hmm. huh pick up the powder coat yes sir what do you think about it scott i hope this i hope this ain't for you too Oh, it is for you too. You better start over. No, I'm not starting over. <laughs> yes, you better. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Dude, I'm filming a video for part two of your truck build. Do you not want me to build your truck anymore? Put it back to stock. Put it back to stock and sell it? No, just grab the stock. You sound like a dad. You sound yeah, like a boring dad. I'm working on a mullet. I need to go back to stop. All right, guys. We're on the way to Somerset, so please enjoy this time lapse, and I'll talk to you whenever we get back or whenever we get to single shot. I don't know yet. Move, Daniel, you're blocking the light. Gosh, look at that glass, son. Look at that glass, son. So these are the PMF brackets that I was telling you about earlier in the video. These drop down the sway bars. These are just fancy sway bar drop brackets. This is the big fabricated track bar bracket. So we we're just picking this stuff up. And then uh, here in a couple of days, we've got to bring some more stuff back. So we're gonna load this stuff up, head back to the shop. start updating people your woman's going out of town without you no. you couldn't get off work it ain't no big deal but you know she's gonna have fun you're gonna be at work making money it's, it's life's good this is logan <laughs> six seven cliff even though well used to be. not anymore listen let's go show them the truck right quick i don't know if y'all remember we done a video with a red six seven cummins a while back he's got him a big fifth gen now 
is 33, right? Venom RTs. Looking pretty good. Are you getting new headlights? Oh, big white LED guy. We can't forget John. We just put the train horns on John's stroke. And then he just now done a. We got the wheelie this bitch right, right here. I wanna hear it, Tana. Hear it, hell, it's a fucking moped. You ain't gonna hear shit. You can't get me at all. God, <laughs> look at the motherfucking work boots and shorts. Okay, Ryan Mayer. Oh, uh, do not compare <laughs> to Ryan Mayer. <laughs> zoom, zoom. <laughs> you know that fucking scooter's. Struggling, <laughs> it is struggling. He All right, guys, so we have made it back. Look at the old truck. Look at Scott's truck as well. Scott's truck looking really good. The rock lights are not on, that's the headlights in this car, by the way. Babe, what are you doing? Huh? All right, guys, that's going to be all for part two, so stay tuned for part three. Stay tuned for part three, which is going to be coming tomorrow or the day after, and we will be getting the front end completely back together and then starting on the rock lights. And then I've had a couple people message me, and they want to do a little bit more in-depth on the rock lights, so I'll probably do that as part four. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, get down there, click that subscribe button, leave me a thumbs up, comment down below what you want to see next on the channel. Um, if you got any ideas for future videos or anything on this truck that you all want to see a video of, just let me know. Comment below. As always, guys, always remember, everybody starts out as nobody, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.